Hey everybody, welcome to Hat Hole Home Video. Today we're just doing a quick little pickups video. Um, but it's an exciting one because I found a guy on the Facebook Marketplace selling a ton of NES and N64 game boxes. That's right, these are, they're empty. But the good news is, is I actually have a lot of these games already. Um, a lot of these also included instruction manuals and other uh, packaging materials. I'll show those uh, two at the end. But it was way too cool and way too rare of an opportunity to pass up so many of these boxes all in one go. So let's take a look at them. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, as Christian Slater might say. Um, a game that I have always loved, but have finally started actually getting good at. Double Dragon, another one of my childhood, uh, really NES love affairs. Such a good game. Contra, oh my god, those old silver Konami boxes. Unfortunately, somebody chopped the top off of this one, but Again, still super cool to add to the collection. Oh yes, my friends. Uh, the Legend of Zelda, as it comes into focus, I gotta say, uh, when I was a kid, we bought our Nintendo used from, I think one of my dad's coworkers back in the day. Um, and he included Mario Duck Hunt, but also The Legend of Zelda. Uh, but that also means when I got it used, I never, I never held this box in my hands as a kid for being probably my favorite game on the system um, and playing so, so much of it over the years. Uh, this might actually be the very first time I have ever owned this box. I'm Batman. That's right, Sunsoft, the notoriously tough but excellent Batman. Batman, Ninja Gaiden, another game that I played the ever-loving heck out of back in the day. I remember as a kid, I could never beat this game. But once, I remember my dad beating it. My dad loved this game too. I think my dad played, I'm trying to think, back then, we played a lot of Mario, we played a lot of Ninja Gaiden, played a lot of Zelda, we both did. Um, and then it was like Silkworm, which is a great simultaneous two-player uh, side-scrolling shooter. Um, it's right here, if you ever look for this game. If you see this game for, for a good price, uh, if you're someone that plays Nintendo still, I highly recommend Silkworm. It's one of those, I think, sort of not really well-known games, but it's great. Bible Adventures. Believe it or not, I own this game. Somewhere along the way, I found a couple of these uh, Wisdom Tree games for cheap. So I have, I have a couple of them. Uh, I think Bible Adventures and uh, the King of Kings, the early years, I think. And maybe maybe we had that box, too. Um, another great... The cover art on these games was just top-notch. Sometimes. Uh, Rocket Ranger. A lot of cool screenshots on the back. This is when... Something tells me the game's probably terrible because the packaging is so great. Oh, also, speaking of that, um, The Adventures of Gilligan's Island. I remember renting this game. If I remember right, there was an issue of Nintendo Power that had uh, some cheat codes. I don't know if they were just passwords, um, but I remember reading about this game in Nintendo Power and then renting it and then having no understanding of what to do. That's also probably because as a kid, I refused to read instruction manuals, California games, which I don't know if I 
have ever really played it on the NES. I used to, or I do have this for the Atari Lynx, and that's where I played it the absolute most. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Oh my god. Uh, a classic. Arch Rivals, once again. It's all about the cover art, baby. I'm gonna have to redo the, the video game wall in this room. Now that I have all these. Um, and... The Simpsons Bart vs. The World, I... I played a lot of this game. I wish it was Bart versus the Space Mutants. I would probably be a little more excited to have that up on the wall, but it's still incredibly cool. I am not complaining at all. Um, and now we also have... This was included. There's some N64 boxes, which actually maybe I'll run through those real quick. And then there's instruction manuals and all sorts of stuff. So uh, we'll take a look at that stuff. Well, and actually, a ColecoVision Donkey Kong box. These I didn't. Uh, these were all when I bought them all. They were all collapsed. The the, the NES boxes I opened up. Um, these I have not yet because I don't really know if I'm going to display them or anything. We've got Micro Machines 64 Turbo. We've got. Army Men, Sarge's Heroes. I like those Army Men games. I didn't have an N64 back in the day, so I didn't get to play a lot of this stuff back then, but quite a bit of it I got to rediscover, and actually quite a bit of it I got to play with my, uh, my cousins. All my cousins had N64s. You got Rush 2. You've got, oh baby, Excite Bike 64. You've got here we go. This is this is up my alley. Bass Hunter 64. Now that's great bass. I'm a big fan of fishing games. I don't know if everybody knows that about me. You've got, of course, because it's the N64, you gotta have some wrestling games. You got WCW NWO Revenge. Hell yeah. Some Hollywood Hogan action. You know it. MRC? Never heard of it. If you like this game, tell me about it. If you don't like it, keep your opinions to yourself. Um, Tony Hawk. Pro Skater. I'm not gonna lie, I played a lot of the Tony Hawk games. I was never super into it. I knew a lot of friends that, uh, that were into it. I like it was fine. I was always of I was always of the opinion that this is fine. Um, Scars, Untamed Racing in the Ultimate Killer Cars. All right, sounds good. Oh, we did have yes, we did have a, a few more NES ones. We've got uh, Major League Baseball. Got to get that up there. I'm also a big fan of baseball games. Not a huge fan of the real sport of baseball, but I love the games. It's weird. Um, Rescue the Embassy Mission. Which look at the look at the pictures on the back of this box. This game looks awesome. If it would focus. There we go. Cool stuff. Um, here we go. King of Kings, the early years. I do also have this game, so, I mean, one of these days we might have to just bust these bad boys out and uh, go ham bone on, uh, on some uh, bad people, whatever you'd call them. And backgammoned for the Atari 2600. Very exciting. I'm glad we saved that as the last box because it's the most exciting one. No. Um, and then we had this stack of instruction manuals and stuff that we'll just very quickly flip through. Um, the N64 uh, manual. All right. Is there something in there? Ooh, there was. What's this? Journey to the Promised Land, Exodus. It's a Wisdom Tree instruction manual for a game that was not included in this lot. 
Someday, the camera will focus. <laughs> and there we go. Um, I guess I don't really need to be showing everything off to the camera necessarily, unless it's cool. Oh, look at that. Look at these, look at all these ultra games. Beautiful. Um, I'll go a little faster because I've, I've wasted basically your whole day at this point. We got Contra Instruction Manual. We've got Tony Hawk Instruction Manual. We've got, ooh, I did see this in here. This deserves to be shown. I think this was for the Game Gear or the Game Boy. It's probably for the Game Boy. Um, Ren and Stimpy. But just judging by the size that it folded up into, that looks like a Game Boy case to me. Um, and judging from this person's lot, it doesn't look like they were into Sega. It looks like, like they were pretty Nintendo loyal, so it was probably a Game Boy. We've got the California Games Instruction Manual. We've got the Bible Adventures Instruction Manual. We've got Excite Bike 64. We've got another one that was not included. Monster Truck Rally for the NES. Looks like that was a four player. You could use the, uh, what did they call that? The figure four leg lock. I can't remember what it was called. Um, danger, do not open. Ah, you want to subscribe to Nintendo Power? I've got a little coupon here for you. Um, Captain Skyhawk, another game that was not included. Um, more little Nintendo Power advertisements, which are just disgustingly 90s. Or I suppose maybe late 80s, depending. Um, what's this little guy? Ooh, a little Tecmo. A little Tecmo advertisement. It's advertising the Game Boy Ninja Gaiden. Which... I'm gonna have to get that. Um, Bart versus the world. Remember, this was all one lot that I got off of the Facebook Marketplace. Major League Baseball. That's what's so exciting about this. I wish I knew what happened to this guy's games. Double Dragon. Rocket Ranger. Um, it's weird that he still has all of this, or had all of this, from his childhood and he said he told he told me that much he told me these were from when he was a kid they found him at his parents house uh while they were spring cleaning um so yeah i guess i guess at some point they got rid of the games another little wisdom tree little piece of paraphernalia um so yeah, at some point they got rid of the games and then these were just in a box somewhere and I guess were forgotten about until a couple weeks ago. There's your Bart vs. the World poster. It's got all sorts of good... I tend to like the backs of some of these uh, game posters a little more that advertise all the other stuff. I have, uh, I have some Atari Lynx posters that do that. Uh, we've got more stuff. Top secret episode. We've got... We're just wrapping things up here. Ooh, it's a little J... Is this a, a little... Should I send this to uh, James Rolfe? A little AVGN? A uh, little J... Uh, LJN... <laughs> I really was holding it together until, uh, you know, there's like three minutes left. All of a sudden, my, my mouth doesn't work anymore. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's, that's it. That is our massive score, which I am so... I'm not gonna lie. This, this wasn't cheap. It was, it was an incredible deal, but it wasn't cheap. Um, I think if you bought all of this stuff separate, I mean, I probably would have had to have paid, who knows? I probably would have had to have paid five times, six times as much as what I did pay if I was, who knows, probably even more, maybe 10 times more 
uh, than what I paid to get all this stuff, but uh, I think it was worth every penny, um, especially for how beautiful this video game wall is going to look when it uh, starts filling up with actual boxed games. Pretty exciting stuff. So I guess that's it. I should probably stop wasting your whole day. I'm so sorry, but this was exciting stuff to show off, and uh, I, I love it. So I hope I hope you enjoyed seeing it, and um, I guess uh, I guess that's it. So if uh, if I if you haven't if you haven't if you haven't, please hit that subscribe button, uh, like and comment, and all the, those good things that uh, that tell YouTube that this channel is worth something to people. That was really awkward. Um. <laughs>